go and verify so go and verify so uh hello everybody and welcome to this uh to this video so in the course of this interaction we shall be going back in time uh to look at the reasons uh why peter obi uh, was impeached as the anambra state governor so a lot of you of course uh you, you are aware that he was impeached at some point and that would have been uh, around about 2006 but what are the reasons uh, that led to that impeachment is the question. So in the course of this video, I I'll be sharing the screen with you because it's a read through of our uh, articles at that time detailing the reasons why Peter B was impeached. So I shall share the screen with you and then I'll put a link to the article in the comment section as well if you want to reread it. Uh, but let's go through the reasons why Peter Obi was impeached as the Anambra State Governor back in 2006. So a case against uh, Governor Peter Obi of Anambra State. So Sahara reporters are the person. It could have been one of several uh, uh, news platforms, but this is the one that uh, we're just going through. It's, it's, it's all documented in detailed form. So uh, none of it is subjective. None of it is opinion-led. It's just really what transpired uh, at the time case against Governor Peter Obi of Anambra State. So what exactly uh, was the case against Peter Obi that led to his impeachment? So uh, pardon me, I have a sip of water. <clears throat> oh, all right, so, so Article 1. Uh, so it's really the list of our uh, charges levied against him in the course of that impeachment. So Article 1, that Mr. Peter Obi and Dame Virgie, Virgie uh, Atiaba, in violation of their oath of office and constitutional obligation, not to allow their personal interest to influence their official conduct and decisions, did corruptly influence and cause to be placed huge sums of money belonging to Anambra state government in Fidelity Bank PLC, being a bank both of them have substantial interest in and of which the governor was the immediate past chairman, thereby putting themselves in a position where their personal interest conflicts with their duties and responsibilities, contrary to code of conduct for public officers, are fifth schedule, section one. 1999 uh, constitution. So a lot of you, of course, you are aware that uh, Peter B invested in a, in a bureau. Uh, I can't quite recall the name. Hopefully it will be captured in the course of this uh, narration. But uh, you may not be a, a, aware, and we're now being told, that he actually pumped uh, a lot of Anambra state uh, uh, government money into Fidelity Bank. Uh, and that is not to say that he stole the money and then it was found in Fidelity Bank by uh, eagle-eyed eagle accountants and investigators know. But there's a, there's a conflict of interest there because he stands to gain personally, of course, being uh, one of the key uh, investors in that bank and using then the state funds to, to, to boost up the balance sheet of that bank and to profit here from it. A conflict of interest and according to what they're saying, uh, conflicts with their duties and responsibilities contrary to the Code of Conduct for Public Officers, 5th Schedule, Section 1, 1999 uh, Constitution. So that's the first charge that was levied. Article 2, that Mr. Mr. Peter Obi, in violation of his oath of office and constitutional obligation, not to allow his personal interest influence his official conduct and decisions, did corruptly influence and cause to be awarded, and without due process, the contract for the reconstruction of the governor's office complex occur in the sum of, uh, in the sum exceeding rather, 100 million naira to one of his campaign managers and associates, Mr. I.K. Mwadu, using his company as a mere stratagem and instrumentality, thereby putting himself in a position where his personal interest conflicts with his duties and responsibilities, contrary to the Code of Conduct for Public Officers, schedule, uh, schedule, uh, fifth schedule, part one, 
1999 constitution. So uh, it's quite clear there. So uh, without uh, without recourse to due process, using his influence as the governor of the state, awarding huge sums, uh, uh, huge uh, summed uh, contracts to his cronies, 100 million naira to one of his campaign managers and associates, Mr. I.K. Wadu, uh, using his company as mere stratagem and instrumentality. So, so uh, it is just shrouded in this is cronism, is nepotism, and very much in in the in the realms of corruption. Because of course, uh, we don't know how inflated that contract would have been. We don't know to what quality it was. Uh, anyway, you can all read between even the mere practice itself. Even if it was carried out to the letter, the mere act of using his influence to to favor outside of due process are uh, the awards of contracts to his cronies that of course runs contrary to what subsists as constitutional. Article three, that Mr. Uh, that Mr. Peter B in violation of his of, of office and constitutional obligation not to allow his personal interest influence his official conduct and decisions. So the word corruptly seems to be recurring a lot. Uh, did corruptly influence and cause to be awarded to his kinsman, Mr. Anthony Ap Apulu, using Apulu's company, uh, the contract for the construction of buildings in the so-called business village, worth over a hundred million naira, without due process and appropriation by the State House of Assembly, thereby putting himself in a position where his personal interest conflict with his duties and responsibilities, contrary to Code of Conduct for Public Officers, Fifth Schedule, Part 1, 1999 Constitution. So it's the, it's the Code of Conduct for Public Officers, that particular schedule that they seem to have used to nail him. Article 4, that Mr. Peter will be in violation of his oath of, uh, uh, that Mr. Peter will be in violation of his oath of conduct of office and constitutional obligation not to allow his personal interest to influence his official conduct and decisions did corruptly influence and cause to be awarded without due process and competitive bidding the contract for the construction of the state secretariat complex at the cost of over half a billion naira to one Mr. Paul uh, Enedom, uh, PB. Nigeria Limited, his partner and business associate, with whom he is joint, uh, with whom he is jointly enterprised in the development of a shopping complex situated in the central business district of Abuja, opposite Depi Depi Hara Depi Harima Depi Harima, opposite Depi Harima House, a federal ministry of transport adjacent the central mosque. So there it is right there. Uh, all of this, of course, the, the textbook corruption space uh, of the Nigerian uh, man of influence, using his influence to award shady contracts to his cronies without due recourse to, to, to due process and constitutional uh, laid down processes and procedures. So there it is right there. Half a billion uh, naira worth of contract to Paul Enidem, his partner and business associate. So this contract now for the construction of the state secretariat complex was awarded to the same guy, Paul Enidem, that Peter Obi, as a private businessman, is constructing a, a, a shopping complex with in Abuja. So his party man that they are doing business together, he awards a contract half a billion and, and by the way, when we are saying half a billion, this is 2006. So you can, uh, in today's currency, transmute that to say two, three hundred billion naira. So that that would be the equivalency. So to award that huge a sum of money, a uh, contract without due process to your uh, most uh, uh, intimate business partner. So a uh, sharp practice, no corruption. You tell me. Uh, Article five, that Mr. Peter Obi and Dame. Vergi Atiaba, in violation of their oath of office and constitutional obligation, 
not to allow their personal interests to influence their official conduct and decisions, did corruptly and without due process, uh, competitive bidding and appropriation by the House of Assembly, did award contracts for the following, several township roads, construction of IGR building, purchase of 20 refuse disposal vehicles, and four pay loaders, construction of new office building for Ministry of Lands, purchase of 40 buses, construction of new stock exchange building at GRA Onicha. So, so there it is right there. It, 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 you see, there's a particular reason why our due process is a setting place as, as the pathway uh, to, to conducting uh, governmental affairs. There's a reason why due, to, due process is set in place as the pathway for con con conducting governmental af affairs. So due process is set in place for exactly the reason that somebody uh, by virtue of their inf the influence of their position cannot be acting to personal benefit as seems to be what is being alleged against Peter B. Article 6. Article 6, that Mr. Peter Obi and Dame Virgie Atiaba, in breach of their constitutional duties as governor and deputy governor, respectively, to execute the laws made by the State House of Assembly, have refused to continue the execution of various road projects awarded by the past administration, pursuant to Anambra State appropriation laws, occasioning huge losses to the state, uh, to the state of heavy deposit of money already paid on the roads by the state government to it, uh, Ogbonike uh, Akwele. So it goes on to give you a list of the uh, of, of the of the roads uh, that are they abandoned. So you, you know, of course, when they award contracts in Nigeria, there's something they call mobilization fee. So which is uh, an initial payout to the contractor to gather together all the necessary uh, accoutrements to carry out that contract. So all of this list, are, and there are several, I'm only not reading them out so that I don't mispronounce, which I almost certainly will, a lot of the names of the uh, of the areas that the roads were awarded. So, so a lot of these roads are awarded, of course, mobilization fees paid. He abandons it for reasons of whatever, and that's to the heavy cost of the of the state. So that was one of the uh, charges levied against him. Article seven, Article seven, that Mr. Pitobi and Virgie Atiaba, in breach of Section seven of the 1999 Constitution and Anambra State Local Government Law 2002, constituted themselves into sole administrators of the 21 local government councils of an Umbra state. So a lot of course are both in terms of their financing and their administration. Peter Obi never really ceded uh, uh, governance to get to the local level by way of uh, facilitating for uh, local councils, councillors, etc. Article 8, that Mr. Peter Obi and Dame Virgie Atiaba in breach of section 162, subsection 6, 7, 8 of the 1999 Constitution and Anambra State Joint Local Government Distribution Account Law 2002 have constituted themselves into sole administrators of the uh, state joint local government account and sole custodian disperser of the local government funds. So they cornered essentially the local, the local government financing. So a lot of the uh, a lot of the discussions and debates within the Nigerian space, it is all circled around that local government space. And a lot of the arguments that is going on now is, is to speak to autonomy for the local government. So that autonomy, of course, the language of it is, is, is wrapped around uh, what, what we are hearing from uh, Peter B, uh, <coughs> or, or, or rather, <coughs> pardon me, or, uh, what we are hearing regarding Peter B in this instance that are uh, that um, local government money is just purloined and, and, and uh, you know, uh, the local governments need autonomy. This this goes beyond uh, what Peter B is being accused of, by the way. The local governments within the Nigerian state, 
uh, within the Nigerian space, they need autonomy. Certainly, no equivocation about that. And until they get that autonomy, uh, governance will not be as close to the people uh, as it should be. So where were we? Uh, where were we? Okay, so let's get back to it. Uh, uh, so Article 9, so let's go on to Article 9. Article 9, that Mr. Peter B. and Dame Virginia Atiaba, in breach of their constitutional duties to execute the laws made by the Anambra State House of Assembly, have unilaterally uh, dissolved some statutory bodies and commissions, particularly the Anambra State Universal Basic Education, contrary to the ASUBEB Law 2005, the Anambra Vigilante Services, contrary to AVS Law, the State Independent Electoral Commission, contrary to another law, and the relevant constitutional provisions and other actions contrary to the street trading prohibition law, uh, the Park Administration and Management Bureau, and the dissolution of the Judicial Service Commission, contrary to the express constitutional provisional relating thereto, and the laws setting up these bodies and commissions. So almost acting like an emperor is what we're seeing. Article 10 that Mr. Peter be in breach of his oath of office not to do or direct to be done in abuse of office, any arbitrary act prejudicial to the right of any other person and in utter disregard of the right to life of every citizen and other, and, and other fundamental rights of every citizen enshrined in chapter four of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria issued a shoot on site order during the recent Onicha crisis leading to the death of over 700 innocent citizens of Anambra State. So there's actually, uh, if I have it, uh, I'll play it to you, but um, there, there's a clip that we have on this platform that actually references that. I, I wonder if I can uh, find it uh, let me see if, if I can find it. Uh, if I can find it, uh, let me see if I can. Uh, I, I can't find it, uh, but let me see if I can uh, download it. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can. Uh, no, I, I'm not able to bring it to you because uh, it's embedded within the 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 um, the streaming uh, platform that I use to stream. Uh, but uh, let me see. Uh, uh, all right, uh, hold on. Uh, I'm just trying to see if I'm able to. Uh, but uh, uh, the, 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 there are videos that speak to that space. Uh, people of that time, very much critical of uh, what happened in that instance. The accounts then are 700. Uh, it says uh, uh, issued a shoot on site order during which, uh, actually, uh, 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 should I be insistent on showing you that video? I might well be insistent on showing you that video because uh, that video actually captures it because uh, somebody of that time documents it in recent time because people are still aggrieved about that matter. Issued a shoot at site order. So that should be shoot on site, of course. Uh, issued a shoot at site order during the recent An An Anambra, uh, during the recent Onicha crisis leading to the death of over 700 innocent uh, citizens of Anambra. So there it is right there. Uh, so I think about two more. Uh, Article 11. So Article 11, that Mr. Peter B, in breach of his oath of office to devote himself to the service and well-being of the people of Anambra State and Nigeria, failed to show concern and sensitivity to the victims, both injured and bereaved, of his shoot at sight order through remuneration and compensation, but rather justifying his obnoxious order on the need for increase in internally generated revenue, uh, which said revenue has been plummeted in spite of the very high number of casualties. So I'm not quite sure what that means. It did not show enough sympathy and more to it did not pay comp compensation. But it carries on. Therefore, we, the undersigned members of the Anambra State House of Assembly, in, accord in, accord in accordance with section uh, 188, subsection 2 
of the Constitution and pursuant to the foregoing, do hereby present to the Honorable Speaker, Anambra State House of Assembly, with this notice of allegations against Mr. Peter B. and Dame Virginia Atiaba, the Governor and Deputy Governor, respectively, of Anambra State, who by the foregoing are guilty of gross misconduct in the performance of the functions of their offices as governor and deputy governor respectively of an umbra state of nigeria so 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 there it is right there and there it is right there so uh those were the those were the charges levied against uh peter b that led to his impeachment uh in around about 2006. uh let me so let me come off that screen now but as you all well know of course peter b subsequently uh he was reinstated via the legal system uh but uh uh, a lot of uh, and by the way he was reinstated on a technicality so i'll be doing a, a separate video on how peter b was reinstated but he was reinstated on a technicality rather than any of these charges being disproved so those charges they still subsist as being levied against him because of course he has not cleared his name of those charges it was the it was uh discharged on a technicality so look out for a part two then of this video where we shall go through the reasons then that Peter B was reinstated. So come share thoughts about all you've heard with me in the comment section. And also in the comment section, you'll see a hyperlink to, to, to something that says uh, buy a coffee. If you want to do, I, I don't suspect that you would want to because I suspect that a lot of the people that will be watching this uh, particular clip will be OB supporters. But uh, if you are of independent thought and you and you feel that the effort of the video is worthy of being done, go to the comment section, click on the link that says buy, buy your host a coffee, and you may then choose to reward the platform with some sort of a tip or a donation. So do that at your will. So I'll leave it here. I'll leave it here. Carry the conversation on with you in the comment section. But here, I say, peace.